Two robots. One question. Who's pushing humanoid technology further in 2025? In this corner, Boston Dynamics Electric Atlas. Stronger, more precise, and ready for real world. And in this corner, Unitree's G1, the $16,000 underdog doing things we've never seen before. We're breaking down their official 2025 upgrades across five key categories. While Boston Dynamics All-Electric Atlas is revolutionizing industrial work, Unitree's G1 is making history. From world-first acrobatics to an official robot boxing match, here's how these 2025 models really compare. The price tags alone reveal these robots' divergent destinies. Boston Dynamics Atlas enters the ring as the undisputed heavyweight champion of industrial robotics. As of 2025, Boston Dynamics has not publicly disclosed an official price for Atlas. However, industry insiders estimate the cost to be around $140,000 plus, approximately 1 million RMB price tag that reflects its premium American engineering. Expensive won't do justice. It's basically corporate procurement department only territory built in U.S. labs with military-grade precision. That cost buys you access to decades of DARPA-funded research and Hyundai's automotive-scale manufacturing muscle. Now meet Unitree's G1, China's answer to accessible humanoid tech at just $16,000. That's less than many luxury e-bikes, yet it delivers uncanny mobility. While Atlas guards its tech behind enterprise sales teams, the G1 floods research labs and universities embodying China's strategy of democratizing advanced robotics through aggressive pricing. The origin stories diverge sharply. One emerges from Boston Dynamics' secretive skunk works, the other from Unitree's open development ecosystem that already dominated the quadruped market. This price chasm isn't arbitrary. Atlas's cost reflects its overbuilt hydraulic actuators, now transitioned to electric, and aerospace-grade components. The G1 achieves its sticker shock through mass-produced servos and clever software that compensates for cheaper hardware. Different philosophies, same revolution, just at opposite ends of the budget spectrum. Stand these robots side by side, and the contrast becomes visceral. Atlas looms at 5 feet 9, or 1.75 meters, a hulking 190 pounds, or 86 kilograms, of titanium and algorithmic muscle, Every proportion screams industrial duty, from its broad shoulder frame to shock-absorbing legs designed to eat concrete falls. This is a machine that doesn't only mimic humans, it surpasses them in raw durability, with joints capable of 360-degree rotation no biological body could replicate. Then there's the G1, a compact 4 feet 4 inches, 1.32 meters, 77 pounds slash, 35 kilograms dynamo, built like an Olympic gymnast. That 2.5 times weight difference isn't just a stat, it fundamentally alters their physics. Atlas can shoulder 20 kilogram loads without flinching. The G1 leverages its featherweight frame for acrobatics no human could attempt. Their structures tell the tale. Atlas's steel-reinforced limbs absorb industrial punishment, while the G1's carbon fiber composites enable mid-air flips its bulkier rival would never risk. Even their footprints diverge. Atlas needs operating space worthy of its stature, not exactly a lab bench toy. The G1 folds nearly in half for storage, embodying Unitree's focus on practical deployment. Where Atlas dominates through brute strength, the G1 wins with biomechanical cunning, proof that in robotics, size isn't everything. But specs only scratch the surface. To truly grasp what separates these machines, you'll want to see how their designs translate into motion. The 2025 mobility upgrades reveal where these robots are truly pushing boundaries. Boston Dynamics Atlas has undergone its most significant transformation yet, the complete shift to all-electric actuation. Might sound like a mere power source change, but it's actually a reimagining of how a humanoid moves. The new electric system delivers movements so fluid they border on uncanny, with a claimed 30% improvement in energy efficiency during complex maneuvers. Watch the video and you'll see Atlas walk with a surprisingly natural gait, run, crawl, perform cartwheels, and even breakdance, showcasing agility like never before. The robot adjusts its gait in real time, shifting weight with near-human intuition. Its parkour capabilities have reached new heights, 
literally, as it vaults over barriers and maintains balance on narrow surfaces that would challenge most humans. Meanwhile, Unitree's G1 has been breaking records in its own right. That March demonstration showing the G1 executing a perfect kip-up, springing from its back to standing position, marked a world first for humanoid robots. The side flip mastery displayed in the same period isn't a small feat, it demonstrates an unprecedented level of mid-air control for a robot at this price point. And now, with April's boxing teaser, we're seeing the G1's mobility applied in entirely new ways. Footwork drills, defensive pivots, and rapid recovery from simulated strikes. And who could forget the G1's kung fu kicks and dance moves that rival those of a seasoned professional dancer? These aren't pre-programmed routines either. The G1 adapts its movements based on real-time balance calculations. The fundamental difference in their mobility approaches becomes clear when you compare their signature moves. Atlas prioritizes what engineers call dynamic stability, the ability to recover from unexpected disturbances while maintaining purposeful motion. The G1, by contrast, specializes in explosive, high-risk maneuvers that would be impossible without its lightweight frame and rapid servo response. Where Atlas moves with the deliberate precision of a professional athlete, the G1 operates with the daring creativity of a parkour artist. Underneath these physical capabilities lie two very different AI philosophies. Atlas runs on what Boston Dynamics calls Predictive Balance 2.0 a proprietary system that continuously calculates optimal weight distribution across its entire frame. This industrial-grade AI operates on custom NVIDIA hardware, processing data from multiple depth sensors and inertial measurement units to make micro-adjustments mid-movement. The software development kit reflects this professional focus, offering tools for precise motion planning and integration with industrial equipment. Unitree takes a more accessible approach with the G1's Benben voice control system. While not as sophisticated as Atlas's balance algorithms, it represents an important step toward natural human-robot interaction. The upgradable Orin chipset means researchers can experiment with different AI models, making the G1 a favorite in academic circles. Its programming environment favors rapid prototyping over industrial reliability, encouraging experimentation with new movement patterns and behaviors. The AI differences extend to how these robots learn. Atlas's knowledge comes from millions of simulated movements refined in Boston Dynamics labs, resulting in extremely reliable but somewhat rigid capabilities. The G1, by contrast, incorporates more machine learning elements, allowing it to adapt its behavior based on experience, crucial for its boxing aspirations where predictability would be a weakness. What's fascinating is how these software choices complement each robot's physical design. Atlas's AI maximizes its strength and stability, while the G1 systems enhance its agility and responsiveness. Both represent valid approaches to the same fundamental challenge, creating machines that can navigate our world as effectively as biological organisms. But understanding their intelligence is only part of the story. To truly appreciate these robots, we need to examine how they harness and manage energy. The power systems behind these robots reveal their fundamentally different design philosophies. Atlas operates on a relatively short 1.5-hour battery life, but there's strategic reasoning behind this limitation. Boston Dynamics prioritized rapid swap capability over extended runtime, knowing industrial users would need continuous operation through multiple quick-change batteries. The power cells themselves are industrial-grade lithium packs designed to withstand hundreds of charge cycles with minimal degradation. What Atlas lacks in single-charge endurance, it makes up in rugged reliability. The robot has survived over 1,000 documented drop tests from significant heights, often landing in positions that would cripple lesser machines. Unitree took the opposite approach with the G1's two-hour battery system. The extended runtime makes more sense for research and demonstration use cases where quick swaps might not be practical. While it uses more conventional lithium polymer batteries, the G1's power management software helps maximize efficiency, especially important during those acrobatic maneuvers that demand sudden bursts of energy. 
The IP54 rating means it can handle dust and light moisture, though it's not quite as battle-ready as Atlas in extreme conditions. This trade-off makes perfect sense given the G1's intended environments, labs and controlled spaces rather than construction sites or disaster zones. The durability stories diverge in equally telling ways. Atlas faces a punishing regimen. Boston Dynamics has it lifting heavy car parts like automotive struts, all while enduring constant stress tests designed to mimic real-world industrial chaos. Meanwhile, the G1 is regularly pushed, shoved, and knocked off balance, undergoing impact tests that focus on the sudden jolts and tumbles it might encounter during dynamic research demos. Both strategies suit their roles. Atlas must weather years on factory floors, while G1 is built to bounce back from the chaos of constant public showcases and experiments. So, after examining all specifications, a clear but nuanced picture emerges. Atlas remains the undisputed choice for industrial applications where strength, precision, and reliability are non-negotiable. Its premium construction and proprietary systems justify the higher price tag for enterprise users. Meanwhile, the G1 represents a breakthrough in accessibility, delivering remarkable capabilities at a fraction of traditional humanoid robot costs. These aren't so much competitors as complementary visions of robotics' future. Atlas pushes the boundaries of what's technically possible, while the G1 focuses on making advanced robotics available to wider audiences. One showcases cutting-edge engineering, the other demonstrates how quickly that technology can become accessible. The real winner here is the field of robotics itself, advancing simultaneously on multiple fronts. Which approach excites you more? The proven industrial workhorse or the affordable agile innovator? Want more? We've got deep dives on Atlas's new walk slash run slash crawl mobility and G1's boxing upgrades in separate videos. Don't miss Unitree's historic robot fight. Subscribe so you catch our instant analysis.